What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of my video series, taking an indie game from zero to $1,000 per month. So in the last video, part one, I went over the game that I will be working on. And in this video, part two, I will be discussing how I will be monetizing this game. So like I mentioned in the previous video, I monetize all my games through skills. Skills is a mobile esports platform where players can come into your game and compete against each other for real world prizes. So I will be using their SDK in this game to monetize it. So in that last video, I showed you the basics of the game. Uh, it's a match three genre and it's cute and the graphics are great. And But you must be thinking, how on earth is this game going to make a thousand dollars a month with no paid promotions and without any ads, without any in-app purchases and things like that. So this is where the magic really happens. And I chose skills because I, like I said, I've monetized all my games with them and I've achieved um, some good success with using them. So the way it works, um, if I could summarize, I have made other videos on this, is when players choose to compete uh, for real cash in your game, um, they will select a tournament. Maybe the, the stake is $1. So there's an entry, entry fee. Uh, each player would pay 60 cents to enter and the winner of that game would receive $1. So now you're thinking, well, if each player put in 60 cents, that leaves um, $1.20 and, the, and then the player who wins only gets $1. So what happens to the other 20 cents? The other 20 cents goes to the developer, in, which is me, and 10 cents goes to skills. So we, it's a 50-50 revenue split model. Therefore, the more tournaments uh, are played in your game, the higher the revenue. And also, the, the more liquidity there is in your game, which means the more, the bigger your player base, the higher the stakes will go, um, which is up to skills' own um, discretion. Okay, so I'm going to actually walk you through the steps of uh, implementing the skills SDK. Bear in mind, it won't be very in-depth because I am not, uh, I don't have a technical background, I don't program, so all this stuff, um, my developer does, but um, yeah, I've got the basic understanding of it so I can walk you through the steps, um, which are, are not that hard to do. Okay, so right now we are in our skills developer console under the games tab. And of course, this is where it displays all the games you have enabled with skills. So if you wanna add a new game, you simply go to the right hand corner, click add new game. Um, then you'll put in the game name. I've already set up the um, everything for merge dolls but for the sake of this video and to walk you guys through it i'm going to do it again so here we will type in merge dolls test here you can add your icon uh it's got icons okay description match three with a cute twist twist okay simple description now you want to select if your game is um, for iOS Android or cross-platform I use unity and publish on both iOS and Android so I click cross-platform here and there is one for unity so click that start integration which will bring us on to the next screen remember this is all stuff my developer does, um, but obviously I have access to the developer console and a lot of the templates and things I actually set up myself. So here is your game in portrait or landscape. It is portrait, which is a funny thing most in skills. Most games tend to be portrait. For some reason, they just do better than the landscape ones. Also, their SDK is primarily um, designed around portrait. So it fits better. Okay, and then you can choose what type of scoring, uh, which score wins. Obviously the highest score in this game will win. 
uh, game format. It won't be real time, it will be play and compare. So that's asynchronous play, which means that both players, um, they, they play at their own time and then their scores get matched up uh, instead of real time, which is synchronous, which is live, um, live gameplay. And the monetization model, we are going for real prize tournaments. Okay, next screen. Okay, here's the more technical uh, side of things. So this is where you would download the SDK. Um, if, if you work with a team, you'd give this to your developer and you'd set everything up. Um, from my understanding, talking with them, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of documentation uh, that skills do provide to make it a seamless process. Okay. So just for the sake of going to the next screen, we'll click download. Okay, we'll exit here. Now we can go next. Okay, I think this will be the fairness screen, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we'll skip for now because nothing's set up yet. Skip. Okay, so this is quite important when you set up your skills um, inside of your game. The fairness is a big thing and your game won't be approved by them for cash tournaments unless the fairness is en enabled. Um, so it basically just means that um, they have a system in place where it'll take the same board um, and I'll give it to both the, the players. So, um, yeah, if you have a bubble shooter, you've got to make sure all the bubbles are the same colors, the sequence of the bubbles are the same, and uh, yeah, that just enables fairness, so it's not um, luck-based, and it's purely on skill who gets the best score. So that's what's really great about it, it's 100% skill-based. Okay, for the sake of this video, we're going to click yes, go to next. Okay, and now it's pretty much set up. So once you have everything running, I'll show you what the dashboard looks like. It'll give you an overview of daily active users, installs, your day one retention, your games per daily average users. Um, and there's a lot more uh, in-depth analytics. Here you would go and set up your tournaments. If you want to have different types of tournaments um, in your game, maybe one round will be one minute or you want to set up another round or another tournament for two minutes, you can do it here. Um, also, if we go back um, to customize your theme, now your theme is the skills UI screens that will be featured in your game. So you can um, choose uh, different baseline colors so this is the white version. That's what it looks like. We can go for crimson. Okay, and also you can go here and you can also add your own um, custom artwork. Okay, so if you have a background, you can upload it here. Um, also um, images for the cash cash prize icons and the virtual prize icons. Um, it's really important um, to do this because um, you want the whole um, skills UI to feel a part of your game. So that's why they've added this custom feature. So everything just flows a lot better and the players uh, pretty much don't even know that um, that they're leaving your game to go to the skill screen. It looks like one entire process, uh, which is good for um, stickiness and retention. So that was the process of integrating uh, the SDK into your game and also setting up the skills dashboard. So now I wanna show you what it looks like when it's integrated inside of your game and also show you the flow of the UI from the splash screen all the way to the results screen. So we have our splash screen and it goes straight into the first skill screen, which is of course the home screen and this shows you the results of your games. And then we go into the tournament screen where you can select your either cash tournaments or Z tournaments. Uh, the default templates are $1, $5 and $10. Obviously that goes up once you have more players in your game.
Okay, the next screen is where players can make a deposit. Uh, it also shows you how much money all players have won throughout all skills games. They can also go and redeem tickets that they earn for real prizes. So that's also a great incentive for them to keep on playing. And then the final screen we have is the, the prize league. And this is the pro one. That number on the top right hand corner six dollars that actually goes up once your game starts earning more money so the top skills games have i've seen it go into the six figures um and of course you have your practice league where players play for real for virtual currency now we go into the matching screen when you select a match and it'll match you up with someone on the same skill level you will then enter into the game uh, obviously play for your highest score um, to the best of your ability and for the sake of this video we're just going to cut the game short and end so once the game finishes you will then go on it'll show you the results screen and this will let you the player let the players know if they've won or not so there you have it guys that was a brief rundown of monetizing a game with the skills platform i'm very excited um, once the game goes live, we can actually go back into the developer console, check out some of the numbers, see if we're on par with hitting our goal. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the video series. In part three, I will be going over the ASO protocols I use to try and rank the game on the App Store, just to get that initial traffic, and that'll help us get to our final goal of $1,000 per month. So I hope you guys are subscribed. Don't miss part three. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.